All right, hey guys, so I'm gonna be showing you how to make uh, concrete. So, yeah, let's just get started. This video is mostly for Will and Chase, because they uh, wanted to know. So here are the things that you're gonna need. Something to stir it with. I got my, the thing that you need something to mix it in. Pretty much anything will work, I just have this plastic thing. Yeah. You're gonna need rockite. Uh don't use that quick read or anything, use rockite. And then have this, which is something to scoop it with. It's just a cup. So I'll leave that uncapped. Then you're gonna need a mold. Let me tilt the screen. I'm gonna need a mold. Um these came with tops. The tops are good to put on but you don't have to have them on it. After you pour it in, I have two molds. And then you're gonna need just water. It doesn't matter, hot, cold, or any type of water. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is, now, zoom in. All right. So you get your rock height and you get whatever you're mixing it in. This plastic thing. Oh. And, and you get what you're scooping it with. And you just take, um, you don't need too much. Um, I'll show you how much I have at the end. It goes down when you pour it in. So, um, yeah, I'm pouring about that much. So, um, so that's about how much I have. It's it's a little bit over two cups. So you, now you're done with your rock pipe for now. So then you just get your water carefully. Pour it in. Don't pour it in too high. To let it settle, it'll start bubbling. You just kind of jab your little stirring stick in. And when you get clumps like this, you just smash them on the side because that means that they're dry. It's dry on the inside. See? Like right there. Which means there's air pockets and you don't want any air bubbles in your concrete. So All right, I'm back. And so, you wanna get any rocks or anything? out of the way. And, uh, the thing that you're gonna need is Pam and uh, one paper towel. You can use your hands if you want, but a paper towel works better because it will absorb. So, and you're gonna want your mix. And maybe if it's settled just a little, stir it up. It's nice and good. Nice and watery. So, you just want to take like three or four, a little, like one on the bottom, one on the sides. Not um, much at all. Uh, what? What? You gotta take your stack. No, that's good. And you just get it and you carefully. You don't want it to splash. Carefully pour in and kind of move from side to side so it stays level on all areas. All right, so there's that one. And this one might be a little short one because I make high ones and low ones. It's about medium, so I have a couple high ones. I have two high ones, two low ones, and now I have one medium. Now I have three high ones because this one will dry out to be a high. It might be a medium. 
and then you just stir it just take a few little swipes and if you get any on the edges if you're putting the lid on you want to scrape that off one's a little bit darker than the other that's no problem um, if you want to and you lock it and like I said you can get this this exact mold at Office Depot um, uh, I'm not sure if you can get it at your local one, but for Will and Chase, you can get it at the one over by um, uh, Starbucks and like Cheeseburger Charlie's and Kroger and all that. And you can already see the fogging of the moisture, and that kind of heats it up a little bit more, and I think it makes it dry a little bit faster. So let it go for about an hour and a half to two hours because then it makes it really safe to take it out. When you put a lid on it, it makes the uh, top dry and like the next day instead of it being kind of like, uh, you know when it look kind of like scrape off. It'll scrape off if you don't have a lid on it. So a lid helps a lot. So. All right, here's the last step and it's getting the concrete out. So I've already opened these up to make sure they're dry so the top's really wet and stuff. So you're going to need obviously your mold and a rag. Um, paper towels would work okay but you're going to want to put like three on top of each other. So you get the moisture on there. Sometimes you'll add too much water and there will be water on the top. You can just pour that out because then it'll have the perfect amount of water in it. which. So yeah, and also it's now what you're gonna want to do is you just kind of pull off the sides and they'll it'll come off just a little bit. See, can't really see it, but it, it comes off just a little. Do that to all four sides, and then you put on the edge of the paper towel, bang it, and you'll see some water on the bottom because it's gonna be wet when it comes out. You see it has water on it. There's water in the mold. So well, you'll see the next step after that in just one second. And then you open up your mold. You're going to want to set it upside down. And get one edge, get the other. Fold it with the sides. Pile them down the top. Rub it this side some more. You might have a little bit of black, you can just wipe it off unless it's it was on the top. And then same thing to this other one. You want to wipe off where you put it. If you really want to use it right after that, you can just put like paper towel and fold it on the bottom or put non-sliders so it won't get on the table. But maybe those non-sliders, maybe they'll come off, which isn't very good. But that's only because it'll be wet. Um Sometimes it'll be dry in like the next day, and sometimes it'll take like almost a week. But kind of depends on how you mixed it and all that, and if you had a top on it and all that stuff. So if you want to let the bottom dry, you're going to want to put it upside down. And I think that helps, so it gives it more air. So, yeah, that's how you do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.